If you're like me, you own more than one motorcycle. Because in addition to my 2008 Honda Shadow 750, I also have a 2008 Kawasaki Mean Street 1600. That one's had some work done to it, upgraded clutch, air intake, uh, big old fat exhaust. Well, that thing's fast. I mean, it's still not like super, super fast, but compared to this, it's fast. But the funny thing is, between the two, I ride the Shadow 750 more. And if I have a big old monster bike at home, why am I riding this little thing? And I know in some places in the world, 750 cc's is, is a big bike. They used to be the big ones back in the day, and I'm going too fast. And to be honest with you, I really enjoy riding the Mean Street. I kind of like the Shadow 750 more. It's got a lot to do with the type of riding I do. Because I don't usually do big trips. I don't usually hop on, you know, the interstate and or the highway and ride for hours on end. You know, I like to do my running around town. I'll get out for like an hour or two, and I'm good. And the main thing I like about this bike is that for these kind of conditions, it's perfect. You know, for what I'm doing here, I don't need insane power. I don't need the insane torque. She does the job. I mean, I'm not out here trying to drag race anybody. You, you could with this bike. You're going to lose every single time. But it is faster than the majority of traffic, your basic commuter cars. But for day to day, it gets the job done. Especially if you leave it alone. If you like bob it out, chop it out, it probably isn't as good. But And part of why it's so good is the lower displacement. This 750cc B-Twin only puts down like 45 horsepower, 45 foot-pounds of torque at the freaking crank. There are a lot of bikes that do a lot more than that, one of which is in my garage, that 2008 Mean Street 1600. But the cool thing about this, is I can usually grab a handful of throttle whenever I want, it makes a fun sound, and I'm not going to freaking evil can evil myself into those trees or something. Now, you can get yourself in trouble with this bike if you're not paying attention, you're riding beyond your abilities. But for the most part, you should be fine. I mean, you can make a mistake or two. And the bike's not gonna get too mad at you. But you do need to respect the machine. And even with the eight inch over forks and the 14 degrees of additional rake, it's still pretty nimble. And for what it is, it's a 550 pound cruiser. And you could definitely start on this, I did. The thing I didn't expect to do was to keep it forever. I also didn't expect this channel to turn into a Honda Shadow channel. This is meant to be like a motorcycle channel, and then it just kind of turned into a Honda Shadow channel, which is fine. I love this bike. It seems like there's a lot of other people out there do too. I need to brake better. I got distracted by that funeral. And the overall dimensions, I mean, this is technically a mid-sized cruiser, but it is a little on the larger side, so you do have a little bit of road presence. But still, make sure you got your head on a swivel. So, for those reasons, that's why I usually pick this bike over the Mean Streak. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not getting rid of the Mean Streak. I just don't ride it anywhere near as much as I do this one. And if you don't have a Honda Shadow 750, and I have not convinced you yet, well, check out this video right here. And as always, y'all be good. See you.